Now, a popular ice cream shop in Greenwood has reopened, though its former owner was arrested on child pornography charges. It's been part of the community for decades. News 8's Angelique Cockaday is following that for us this morning. Yeah, good morning, Scott and Drew. Mrs. Curl Ice Cream Shop has been a staple in the Greenwood community for years, but the company is trying to make one thing clear. 75-year-old John Kaysen no longer owns it. That's according to a statement released by the shop. In a Facebook post that has since been deleted, Mrs. Curl said they acknowledged everyone's concerns and that the shop has transitioned to new ownership as of January 2019 due to John's age and pending retirement. And that effective immediately, Mr. Kaysen will be stepping aside from his role as at Mrs. Curl. Court documents show Kaysen was charged Friday with two felony counts of possession of child pornography in Johnson Circuit Court. Despite mixed reactions about the allegations, these charges didn't stop customers from lining up for ice cream in yesterday's rainy weather. It's not so much ice cream around this time, so April 5th, um, nine years ago, me and my husband had our first date. And so that's what's important to us. I don't agree with the owner's choices and everything that's going on, but to us it's a special place. It's where we had our first date, so it's, it's not really fair for, I'm not going to allow him to take that away from us. It's unfortunate, obviously very disgusting actions, um, but he's going to, it's a, actions of an individual um, that are going to be dealt with. Uh, you know, you can't really try to punish you know, everybody, you know, when you boycott a business, everybody gets affected, not just the owner. Mrs. Curl also said Kaysen's partners wanted to reopen business to keep providing jobs to employees and great ice cream to its customers. News 8 tried to confirm the identities of the new owners of Mrs. Curl or if they previously shared ownership with Kaysen. Kaysen now faces up to six years in prison and a fine of up to $10,000 if convicted. Scott and Drew, back to you. Angelie, thank you. It is 630.